Okay, my friends, Roger, once again, Mud Fossil University, going to show you today how you can harvest blood, literally DNA, from rocks. That just came out of the rock after the rock came out of the ground. Now, there are certain conditions that are much more prone to excellent preservation. I just happen to have one of these conditions here. And all of my stuff is, um, well, not all of it, but I have three specimens where it's DNA certified as human. And I will show you exactly how I harvested the DNA. That's because people say, oh, how'd you do that? Well, here's how I did it. And here's what you should get if you want to do these kind of things. Naturally, obviously, you're going to use rubber gloves. You can have a mask. You know, put something on your head if you want. That's fine. I did it, it very carefully. The air coming towards me and, you know, out in the, out in the backyard, whereas I got the gigantic fingertip that I took it out of here. And I, I'll sh I could take it right from this one right now. And this is the fingerprints, which I will show you in a minute. I have the microscope going. And... Um, then I could put this, what I harvest, and I'll probably harvest some today for you if you'd like. I can put it in a sealed, you know, um, plastic bag. I put a couple layers, and then I could put my lead seal on there and stamp it sealed. And leave a note inside of it or something. If you want to send me something that said your specimen, and I would put it in that bag, wrap that all up, seal it and then send it to you and um, or some way we could you know this is not a question about this this is a lung this is a freaking lung I mean what's the matter with you people you and all I did was I, I can't remember where I think it was like down in here somewhere and I drilled right in here and I could do it right now and get stuff right out of it right now you I don't know if you can see it but it's on the end of that tip right there so it's not something hard to do, um, but you should get one of these little microscopes. I don't think they're expensive at all now. My, I have one that's a little more expensive, but that was a long time ago. Maybe they're even better even now. I have no idea, but this one, I, I have a Celestron. That's worth the one I have right there. And here is that blood vessel that is in that gigantic fingertip. Right. Oops, I moved, moved a little bit. Hold on. You see that right there? Let me see if I can home in on it a little bit better. I guess that's about as good as I'm going to do. But that that feeds up inside the actual grip skin a little bit of blood, not much, because this is a, a fingertip. But below that layer, where, where I took the blood out of it, it's it's something like this. It was like like um, not that didn't flow out like that one, but. But this lung here literally had almost blood running out of it. And you can see, it's not hard to see you know, how red that is. I mean, obviously. If I put a little water on there, you're going to see it looks just like it was bleeding. I mean, literally. Blood rehydrates almost instantly. So let's just prove that to you. Oops, I'm going to get water in my keyboard. Right, look at that. Now, I have other rocks here that if I put water on them, they will literally look like they had blood coming out of them within instants. Um, any rate, once you get deep enough in there, you're going to be extracting literal blood. I mean, it's, it's, and that's what he said, it was, it was dense. The, the, the DNA was dense and the quality was excellent. That's exactly what it says. All right, this is what you do. You take a pin drill like this, and you drill right into a red spot where the blood was. I mean, it's, it's literally saturated with blood. It's all over the place. I'll drill right into that. Now, you know, obviously you clean it off first. I usually just scrape it off. I mean, I got it's, it's a thing saturated with this stuff. So it's not, you know, and anybody who says that's not blood, I mean, I, I don't know where they're coming from. This is at the tip of a lung. I had an anatomist look at it, and, 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 and you know, I, even if it, a 10-year-old can see it's a lung. So this was sent off, the samples from these specimens, and they all came back with the same result, human mitochondrial DNA. And that's the mother's side. And he said it was 100%, virtually no question. And it was dense in two of the three specimens and 
It's um, and it was a, they would look for two regions in the human mitochondrial DNA, and they found them both. All right, let's see if I can get my drill down in here in the right place. Uh, of course, you see, it's all—it's already got some stuff on it because I just drilled some stuff out of there. Now, all you got to do is—I I can't put it straight down because of the microscope, but you just drill into it. Whoops! Well, you can see it. Look, you could scrape it right off of there. Let me just scrape it. This is not—you know—you could send that little bit right there off, and they could test that. There it is, right there. You can see that. You see? Have a heart. There we go. Yeah. Now I could put that on. I'm going to put that on a, a little piece of tissue paper and see what happens on that. But a little moist tissue paper. Let's stay together so that I'm not playing games. I got a piece of tissue. I'm going to put a little moisture on it. Hold on. Don't get upset. upset. Oh, here it is. I have to keep it dark in here to use the microscope, and I lose track of things. Now, under here I go, and I put this on there, and here it is. That's what happened when I put it right on top of it. Now, let me back out of there. I didn't do anything other than put that right on top of the blood that I had just extracted and it's bleeding, literally bleeding through the paper. Now, I could take the, I mean, look at it. It's not hard to see that that's blood. Now, I could take that and put that into a, a plastic bag and seal it. I have lid seals that I could seal that up and send that off. So I could write my name on there or something, do one of these, seal it up and send it to be examined. All right? It's not hard to see. Now I'm going to just take the piece of paper off and you'll see that I didn't do anything. Zip, there it is right underneath. That's where I scraped it. As soon as you put water on it, it pulls it right out of there. Right, so that's how you extract DNA from these samples. And <laughs> I mean, it's dense. I mean, th this is what upsets me. Oh, you could contaminate it. You just drooled on it or something. It's unbelievable. And that is the top people that they should be examining this. I mean, even even if you don't take that into account, how about this? I mean, a 10-year-old can understand what that is. A 5-year-old. If they looked at a book and they looked at this, I would say, yep, that's a lung, Daddy. Yeah, Mommy, that's a lung. And any anatomist understands pleura, and that's the fabric of pleura and a pattern of the lobes of the lung. It's a left lung. That's the depression of the heart. Any anatomist will fully understand that. This was laying just like that when the guy died in a flood. Nucleophilic invasion stabilized the bio unstable molecules by what's called nucleophilic substitution and invasion primarily due to transition metals and a lot of it is due to iron and um, and they take the molecules that would normally rot in the sun and they stabilize them in this salty wet condition when it comes out they dry up now this, this I got lungs of all kinds see this here I think you can see that there's a blood on there. Now, I have lungs that are, um, well, here's another one. Hold on. Oh, here's, oh. This one here, the blood literally ran out of it. And I mean, I, I'm talking blood ran out of it. I've shown this a million times. And these are the actual alveoli. It's stripped down. I have another one here that is half stripped and still has half of the pleura on it. I have so many specimens that blow your mind. Hold uh, well, it, it, we could go on forever. Now, I don't know if I showed you the big fingertip or not, but you do the same process. You find where the blood vessel was, and these are blood vessels, those little black spots. You take the little drill. Where is the drill? 
Right? You just get into one of the spots and you just start drilling. And by the time you go get in there far enough, you'll hit some really, literally raw blood. If you can see this right now, it's actually, you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's actually blood all over. So, it's just the way they are. So, I'm not making this up. And, uh, and it's very upsetting to know that I did this. Plus, I have, you know, I mean, this was CAT scan. I have other CAT scans. This is a gigantic, gigantic, gigantic fingertip, and it still has... The fingerprints. That's the fingerprints right there. Just like your fingerprints. That's what they call a ridge. Another ridge, another ridge. And you have a bazillion of them. And they're just as wide as my finger, one ridge in this fingerprint. And the whole finger is out there. And there's a, a, other parts. You know, they're all over the place from this guy. They're all over the place from all of them. That's just, I, I just happen to be in a place that that's what happens. Now, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but this is the seal. I, if I did this, I could put this and weave it through and so forth and put lines or do something and seal it and then send it to somebody that they could see that it was original what I was sending. I'm not a liar. I'm not a fraud. All I want is somebody to investigate it. And if they think I'm lying... I, w I expect somebody in that field to step up and do something. This is kind of crazy after all these years and having all this evidence to have kids taught things that they, the, the professors by this time either should know that it's not right or they themselves are just incompetent and can't, can't adapt to the reality that confronts them because they have been told not to, not to talk about this kind of stuff or they will be literally fired. That's my statements. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a, um, a doctor. I'm not any of these things. I don't give any advice. I don't give all. I'm doing research and I'm showing you what I have found and what I have incurred during the time of my research. And the pushback from academia is, is, uh, is really intolerable at this point. And if you want to accept it, good for you. Not me. Boy, I hope you can see this because this is this gigantic, gigantic fingertip. And if you can see right there, that is the artery. You see the red? Boy, I hope you can see that. And that is the black right there. You see that black? That's the arterial network, you know, the, I mean the vein network. And this is the artery network. And the arteries are red, the veins are black. And this is as obvious as it gets. Now, you have to look at these when they're they're um they're drying out because you, you normally don't see this this well this is that gigantic fingertip you see the black spot boy i hope this is obvious i never can tell for sure but that's one and they normally you see them like that next to each other red and black quite obvious now what are we looking at we are looking at that right there if i can find it well, i'm not going to back up on here there is right there. Now, let me turn the light on. And I will show you what that is. I'm going to take the other piece of it, which is right here. And I'm going to mix it together back to where it was in originally. I think something like this. I'm going to... There it is right there. That is a fingerprint. That is the grip skin of a fingerprint. Let me just hold it up here where you can see it. Let me turn the lights back on. Oh! Whoops. I didn't do anything. I didn't steal anything. I didn't make any mistakes. Here. Uh, that is the thing I was just showing you. And that was the part up in here somewhere. Or actually, it was this one right here. See those three little holes there? I don't know if you can see it. Again, I don't know what you can see or not. And together, it made a fingerprint. Now, the fingerprint grip skin is this thick on there. That's like the skin on your, t just the very, and, you know, the tip of your finger, is this, the skin is this thick. And that's because the thing was gigantic. The fingertip is three feet long. Now, I'll show you a couple quick shots, and then we'll go from there. Okay, my wonderful, wonderful 
exceptionally talented friends looking for information how to understand the world that we find ourselves in which is very confusing at the moment now I have been bragging all the time I went here I went there I went to this place well I did I went to a lot of places and I did because mainly Coursera now the other thing you can do is just go anywhere you want online and say I want to look up Yale quantum physics and whoop it'll bring you there and it's like course after course after course is what they were telling the students now what are we looking this is they send these to me all the time this only came in 16 minutes ago and this is recommendations for me and they will do the same thing to you depending upon what you look at now these are optical devices and semiconductors and engineering and our particle accelerator and all the stuff this is what I do and 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 I went to Rice University I I went to a lot of these places I I forget even the ones I went to because I think I I don't they don't give you a degree or anything unless you want to pay them then you get a degree now I I don't pay them so really what I did was I went to a lot of these places like University of Geneva and um, Johns Hopkins and so forth to to really to try to work with the professors and then they really won't work with you and I don't think they work with you if you're paying them either so they just have a, an agenda to, to, to send out to you to say look I'm the teacher you listen you do what I say and you, you'll be fine you get a good grade and then you have a paper that says you're intelligent now I that does not work for me whatsoever I say what is my input to this will you look at it? and they have refused in every single realm I can accelerate light I'm doing all the things that they were asking for um, all over the place I don't know I'm this is all other stuff I'm working on now which is genetic stuff and I'm going to go into that in a second um, and it's not really genetic what it is is it's your bacteria that's in your body pretty much is what I've discovered and there's also finding this everywhere else in the world. I work with a lot of people, a lot of you know university people that are working sort of under the radar. They can't really come out and talk too much about it. So I don't even mention their names because you know people have to maintain their ability to make a living. And if you speak up against authority in this realm, they will actually literally fire you. And they have no, they can do it. They just throw you away unless you're tenured. And you are, are, then you're able to speak outside of the box. Other than that, they will just remove you for, for, um, I don't know what they would call it, but they, 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 there's, I don't think they have any obligation to say anything. For, they, I think they can do it without cause, basically, until you are tenured, which means you have to do exactly what they say forever. And then even when you become tenured, it appears, just like Velikovsky, he was a very, very qualified guy. They destroyed him. Now, that goes back quite a ways, but it's still going on now. That's, I, I mean, I'm not in their realm. I have just as much education as they do, but I didn't pay for it. And I didn't have to bow down to anybody. They have to pay for it. Then they have to do exactly what they're told to do. And then they have to really continue that. Otherwise, they will lose what they invested in and all that time and so forth. So it's a bad system, basically. And then peer review is just there for, for to keep people like me from not being able to speak in their realm because I'm not allowed. I'm, I'm not peer reviewed. I'm not all that stuff that they talk about. Um, however, I just present facts. <laughs> I think that's a lot better.